But uh, these two guys aren't worried about that at the moment. Heavily focused on what's happening in this opening exchange. Julian Wilson got the inside. Now he wants to make the most of this section. Dynamic first turn. Whips that tail right around. Gets back up into the lip again. So uh, engaged in battle for that first ride and really made the most of what was on offer. See, he's actually behind, but he's above. And he gets this little chip shot of the top of the wave that gives him momentum here. It catches him and just zips him around. And on the inside of Pedersen, the experience and the competitive nature of Julian Wilson winning that initial battle. And this first turn shows that Julian is in form. Great commitment to that turn straight into the second one. The energy was great in the, in the surfing. The energy was great in the paddle. Uh, and, and all the signs are really good for Julian Wilson straight out of the bat. Yeah, he's going to put up a, a reasonable number to get started. Great first turn. Not much else on this ride, but it's going to count for something. Well, and we've seen people struggle to get their two scoring rides. But it is a surprise to see Julian sitting that far down the, the ratings uh, after such a, a, a magic campaign last year. Here we go, though. Looking for a backup number. Not going to make much of this one. He looked both ways. Looked left, looked right. Decided neither. And Julian on the inside. Why not? Has a look at it. Trying to get rid of that .27. Throw away. Has the air reverse. Does well to jet out over that impacting whitewater and get the make. And I figured if it was me, I'd be going to the air. And I think Julian Wilson, he gleaned that same information from the heat before he's and just this was a closeout. It didn't have a lot of wall in it. You see, winds up, gets low, punches that through the lip, uses that body to rotate, lands with the fins facing towards the beach and spins it cleanly. So there's two decent scores. Um, finding the way to stimulate the judges today is, is the key to, to success, and it might be in the air. Well, Pettis and Chris Santo up at the moment. Looking for a big reply now. Julian back here, a couple of fives, and... Pedersen, he wanted to go better. He really threw it all out there on that final section. You can see drives off the bottom here, hits the lip, and the board sits up on the water beautifully. And then here he just <laughs> nails it. Gave it everything that he had. If he had made that, I know the judges would have eaten it up and it would have been a great score. Could have been the best wave of the heat so far. Look at it. Absolute commitment. And everything's going right until there, and that rail just catches really close to a make but the intentions are clear uh, for a lot of people out there they're, they're seeing this kid in his fourth championship tour event but julian knows how dangerous he can be because uh, he was well hyped as a, a youngster pedersen crisanto part of the billabong team did trips with andy irons joel parkinson mark okalupo back in the day surfed wave and uh, I think here it is on the replay. The first one, super quick, up into it. And the second one. So there wasn't much space. There wasn't much time. It all had to be done really quickly. And he did it really quickly. He matched the tempo of the wave with, with his own tempo. But at the same time, he just fitted everything in perfectly. Get back to that point in a moment. As we see Pedersen now. Who's uh, in a position to make a run at the lead here. Had a 6.33 in his last wave. And he is really attacking this end section. Like the attack that he is bringing and the fact that he's willing to fall to bank the big scores. He only needs to pull one of those moves down to, to can really convert these smaller rides into a solid number. And I, I love the whip in that move. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it's it's not a cheater slide. He's releasing that tail with a lot of power. To bank that, you know, call it a five and a couple of nice big turns and he could have Perhaps it was the vertical nature of that approach up the wave face that made the just needed to be a little more horizontal, eh? not quite as vertical, and just take that lip on a little more horizontal and kind of get the speed out of it, get another turn in, the score would have been yours and the pressure would be well and truly on because nothing feels better than getting the score you need without priority. Well, Pedersen Grisanto has been busy. A few waves now, goes the backside reverse. And he's going to stick it. Only looking for a 4.4, and he's going to get another turn, but can't ride out of this one. Ooh. So Julian Wilson early in the heat. He had a pretty decent number for a frontside version of that same manoeuvre. The replay. Pumps it down the line. The interesting thing was in the paddle. He kind of looked both ways. And he was like, which way am I going to go? But when you think about the wind, and we heard Strider. Doesn't get much better than that. 
He got a 5.37, he's out in front. Julian Wilson chasing a 5.98, has a good looking wall. First turn is strong, up into the pocket. Throws plenty of water, and he's sure to stay on his feet for that final manoeuvre. Three moves, and the first two were solid, but... sort of surfing you want to see at this point in time when you've lost Lee, drives off the bottom, snaps out of the top. That had the venom in it. He knew this was an important ride. That one controlled, beautiful, clean. Three combinations, three turns into a combination. feel like that's the best way for the heat. Well, it is in a big way. It's gone excellent. 8.67. Pedersen Crisanto now. He's up. And he needs an 8.08, big section standing up, goes for that layback tail release snap, can't ride out. And Crisanto is going to be left chasing a score here with two and a half minutes to go. Through the uh, scale up for those airs early on with the 5.7s and, and the 5.3 for Pedersen. You had a feeling Julian's wave was going to get high. Well, and the 8.33 from Kolohe in that heat before, even though they're not compared and scales is a set fresh every heat and you're only comparing heat to heat, that 8.33 of Kolohe's was an indication that that's where they want to see you go. It had a little more uh, life in it than what we used to have. Well, here we go. Wilson up at the moment. 30 seconds to go. Now looking to oh. get rid of a 5.73. Starting to feel it now. Oh, he's done that. Digging in hard. This equipment. Pedersen on the outside. He's going to kick out of this one. Only 20 seconds to go. And it feels like Julian's going to get rid of that 5.73 here. Well, that's going to feel good for Julian. This will be as far as he has progressed through a championship tour event this season into the quarterfinals for the first time in 2019.